Hi there, and welcome to the first video of Coding with Cables. My name is Mark, my handle on the forums is Andro, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with creating and coding your own ops inside of Cables. Uh, don't worry if you've not coded before, these videos are going to be pretty easy to get into and all, they'll all be broken down into much smaller pieces. So today I'm going to be starting with the trigger ports and functions. So without further ado, let's get started. How do we create an op? Well, I click somewhere in the patch, I press escape, and I'm going to type in a name for my op, and I'm going to call it my trigger op. This button here says create ops.user.andro.mytrigger op. I'm going to click that, and this editor pops up. I'm going to press escape, and I'm going to press escape again, and then I'm going to type in the name of my op, my trigger op. And as you can see, it now appears here. So there's no ports, there's nothing. We have to define all of this ourselves. So I'm gonna click the op and I'm gonna press the E key for edit. Just gonna select all this and get rid of it. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a trigger input and a trigger output. And I want the trigger output to go off when a trigger comes in. So we need to make a port. So first of all, I'm gonna make a constant. And I'm gonna call it in trig. And now I'm going to assign a port to this. So I'm going to say op dot in trigger. Now all ports need to have a name. So I'm going to call this trigger in. If I now press control S to save, as you can see, we now get this port with the name trigger in. So now I need to make an output port. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to call this one out trig. Now I'm going to say op dot out trigger and I'm going to call this trigger out and I'm going to press control s to save okay so let's pull this out and let's plug in a main loop press f so we have this coming in I'm going to pull this out I'm going to grab a sequence op as you can see we don't have any flow mode so we need to tell the op that when the trigger comes in we want you to send a trigger out so this is way easier than it seems so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make a function and I'm going to call it update. You could call this anything you want. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say um, out trig there dot trigger. It's a function. This means send the trigger out of this port, out trig. Now we need it to happen when the trigger comes in. So we go in trig and we put a listener on there and we say on triggered equals update. So now I'm going to press control S and save. And as you can see, the trigger coming in now causes a trigger to go out. Let's just recap this really briefly and simply. So this is our input port and our output port of the type trigger. So here we say in trig on triggered. So when it gets a trigger, call the update function. And the update function says out trig dot trigger, send the trigger out. Okay, so let's try something a little bit more um, advanced. Let's say we want to make a counter based upon the amount of triggers. So I'm going to say, give me a variable, call it counter and it equals zero. This means that whenever the op is going to be created, uh, the counter will be set to zero. I'm going to go here. And now I'm going to say counter uh, plus equals one. Now, how do we see this? Well, we could make a port, but sometimes when you're working with code, you just want to debug. So you press Control shift i and you get the developer tools here. So now I'm going to go here and I'm going to type in console.log. I'm going to give a string so I know what's going on. I'm going to say counter is plus counter. And watch what happens over here when I save it. All of a sudden, we get this. So hey, this works. Just wanted to show you the debug console. Control shift on and get rid of this. And now I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to make a new output port. I'm going to call it const out count. And I'm going to say is equal to op dot out number. So this one I'm going to call current count. Okay. And then I just need to set this output port to counter. Really simple. You might be already seeing where this is going. So I say out count dot set. And then I just pass in the counter variable. And as you can see, this output port now is showing how many times the trigger has gone off. 
So say we'd want to reset this, last thing we're going to do in this tutorial. Well, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just tidy this up a bit. And I'm going to say const in trig buttons and equals op dot in trigger button. Now this is going to give me a button and a port that I can use. I'll show you why. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to type in reset counter. I'm going to press control S. Now I get this button here that says reset counter. So when I press this, I want counter to reinitialize back to zero. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to show you a different way of doing this. So I'm going to say in trig but button dot on triggered equals a function. And then I'm just going to say counter equals zero. I'm going to press control S. So when I now press this reset counter, if you watch here, this resets the button. Okay, this was a basic introduction to um, how to get started with creating your own ops inside the cables. I hope this video has been educational and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below or to post them on the forums. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.